In Galveston, crews spent the day doing some heavy duty cleaning. Thousands of dead fish washed ashore over the weekend. Our Tiffany Craig is there live. Tiffany, is the situation getting a little better out there at least? It is. A lot of the fish are now gone, but the smell, trust me, the smell is still here. It's a picture perfect day at the beach. Well, almost. Part of the world going around, I guess. Sam and Mary Cox are trying to ignore the smell. Yeah, it didn't smell good. It's dead fish. And dead fish don't ever smell good. That's why Hernan Botero and his beach rake are here. Yesterday started and um, it was mild, but as the as the time progresses, you know, the fish started to decompose and the smell just is increasing, you know, by the hour. Biologists believe low oxygen levels offshore are to blame for the thousands of fish that have washed up along the coast. We've seen the shelf, uh, uh, jellyfish. jellyfish come up, but never the fish like never this. Like this. What, what do you think of this? Well, we, well <laughs> it's different. <laughs> so that rake is in overdrive, clearing the beach and trying to get rid of that stench. Oh, boy. We just have to kind of uh, think about uh, our past girlfriends, and that keeps it off my mind. It's a small inconvenience to visitors watching the unexpected cleanup. It doesn't bother me now that the wind's blowing and he and cleared that away. Out. Section by section, things are looking normal again. Just be glad this isn't smell of vision. So, scientists are actually testing that water offshore to make sure they know exactly what it is that caused this. But if you uh, have any kind of problem with your nose, it's still going to bother you, even though it's not really supposed to bother any of us humans. Reporting live in Galveston, Tiffany Craig, KHOU. 11 News. Thank you.